I have been using virtual reality headsets for more than a year now, so I wanted to challenge myself to completely replace my coding setup with just this headset, keyboard and mouse and use it to build my personal projects during these winter holidays. In this video, I will share all the apps that I have used, tips and tricks to make them even better and my final verdict about completely replacing my coding setup. Hey right now I have very low number of subscribers so I will really appreciate it if you subscribe and I promise to share amazing future videos, thank you. Software development is not all about coding, the majority of the time is spent on researching, collaborating and actual coding. When it comes to researching and learning about a new topic, Fluid is the best app available in virtual reality environment. You can place these windows anywhere and change their size according to your needs. On this control center, you can place your shortcuts and there are a lot of customizations you can do on settings tab. I highly recommend connecting your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse for unlocking maximum productivity inside this app. In spaces, you can save different windows like all your windows for entertainment in one space or all your windows for work related stuff in another. In the rooms section, you can create public and private rooms to do your work or simply watch videos. For instance, in this room, if you want to snap this window to TV, just drag it closer and it will show it on the TV. And the whole environment is so amazingly designed that it really helps to enhance your productivity. If you really want to eliminate any external distractions, I highly recommend using noise cancelling headphones to fully immerse yourself in this environment. This is a must have app if you want to learn or research something in a very unique and intuitive way. I use this app to read some research papers, watch coding tutorials and make notes. Fluid team is adding new amazing features with each update, I am really excited about what they do next. For collaboration, I recommend the Immersed app. In this app, you can connect your Windows or Mac by installing software on your computer and connecting it with your headset. You can share your screen and connect your keyboard and mouse. You can place these screens anywhere you want and size them however you like. To go to the options, simply open your palm like this and you can have access to these shortcuts and by clicking on the menu button you can go to settings for customization and accessing the features. You can join public rooms in which you can talk to random strangers while working or you can create your own room to collaborate with your teammates and share your computer screen with them. Navigating through this app is intuitive and easy which makes working on a project a pleasure. I highly recommend you to try this app if you want to taste what it's like to collaborate in a virtual environment. For coding, I prefer a very minimalistic environment so that I can get into that flow state while I am writing some important logic. In Meta Horizon workrooms, you can connect your Windows or PC to share your screen. Here you can only add up to 3 screens and you can either work in a complete virtual environment in a desk pass through where you will have a cutout to see your keyboard and mouse or in a full pass through in which you can be aware of your surroundings. This app doesn't provide many customizations or features but the best thing about it is that it just works and it's clutter free. So if you completely want to eliminate distractions and pull off that all nighter coding session then this is your app. There are some other apps like virtual desktop that you can give it a try. And recently Microsoft launched support for sharing if you have Windows 11 but this app is still in initial phase and requires a lot of improvements. Now the thing is, can you actually throw away your coding setup and completely shift to this virtual reality headset? I think it is possible but there are still some improvements that need to be done to make this complete shift. Things like the weight of the headset, after a couple of hours you start to feel uncomfortable and the resolution of the headset is not as great as 4K monitor. Also Meta is continuously improving the software of the headset with each update but still there are some improvements that can be made to make it more usable. 
Let's say if you are traveling somewhere and want to have access to big screens, then this can really help. But if you already have 4K monitors, then using this will not make that much sense. The future of VR is really bright and I am so excited to experience it. Let me know what you think and click on subscribe button. Have a great year. Stay curious.